Uh, thank you for joining me in lesson 15 of our enterprise and end implementation uh, series. So uh, in this one, I'd really like to bring things together a little bit more with our uh, model driven application. I think that there are some uh, things that are disconnected uh, experiences that need to be optimized. Uh, and so with that being said, we've got five tables, crucial tables. We've got our job, we've got our interview table, which we spent uh, some time with. We spent a lot of time with the candidate. I think we're good there. Uh, we've got our company table, which on the back end is the account. We've got our application table. And so what I want to do is I want to, from the account level, really, from the account level, so from the company level, I want to start being able to look at things holistically. I want to have a central location to go to where I can see everything, all the action, all the metrics, uh, where things are going to be housed. So together, let's work together right now. Let's go and look at the company form and see how we can kind of integrate um, the different components of uh, the company form with other components available to us, right? So we've got the uh, updated account form, which is definitely a, a, a must have. So let's add that. <clears throat> okay, so we open up our account form. And this is kind of what it looks like. We've got account information, you got a map, maybe you got a primary contact, the contacts. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We've got a timeline. And so details, we have some more information. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a new tab in between these two, frankly. And I'd like to add a new tab that basically allows me to um, go ahead and um, here we go, like a, just a straight up one column tab. And this tab right here will be recruitment. And so on this tab, now what I can do is I can add a subgrid. So now I'm interested in all of the stuff that's specific to, to me, to the account, to the company. So in this case, I'm interested in jobs. Very interested in jobs for my company. And I'm interested in being able to see that those are active jobs. I believe that's the view we are using. Yep, it is. Oh, that, let's make that smaller. I got way too big. There we go. Um, so then I want other things. So for example, I also want to see who the candidates are um, that are associated if to, 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 to my jobs if at all possible. So let's see what other things we can connect here. So let's go ahead and add another subgrid. I want to show related records. So that kind of limits our, our ability of what, what we can look at, right? And I don't think we can actually look at candidates, but that's because they're separated by quite a few layers. So in this case, our experience is going to be like this. We're going to have um, a company and we're going to have a summary of that company. And then when we go to recruitment and we open up a job, the job is really fundamentally going to be that record that stores all of the candidates, all of the uh, interviews for that job and the applications for that job. And pretty much all the metrics will roll up to the account. Metrics will roll up from the um, interviews up to the job, from the job up to the account. And so I think job is really where it's all about. So this kind of is where it begins. This is how I want to set it up. I like this format for the account. I think it's nice. 
I think it's clean. I think it's out of the box and I, there's nothing better than out of the box. So then let's just go and tinker with our jobs uh, table real quick. And then the last thing I want to do is I also want to um, just put in some basic fields for our application uh, table so that we have something that we can input because we're going to expose that um, on the web. And, um, and once we do that, that's going to allow candidates to start submitting applications. And what I really want to do is something pretty simple, kind of like what LinkedIn Easy Apply does. You know, I want to be able to just have the candidate apply by uploading the resume and potentially a cover letter, but it's optional if they want to. And then um, maybe a LinkedIn profile link and then hit next. And then that automatically creates their profile in our system, right? But we have to provide that public facing website, right? So uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, for now, I'm happy with the way this looks. Uh, I'm gonna go back and now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to the application table and we'll, we'll finish up, we'll wrap up with the, the job. So the application table really has no other column created yet besides the application name. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep it really, really simple. Um, I would like to be able to upload a file and it's business required and I'm going to call it resume or curriculum vitae. All right, I'm going to save that. So then that's another key piece of the application. So there, there's the name of the application, which we're going to have to automate to probably because how is the candidate going to name his application, right? No big deal. We can do that with Power Automate. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is I would like them to have a description box. That's it. That's it. Um, to be able to type in uh, tell us why you're interested in this position. So make them work for it a little bit. I want them to tell me why they're, you know, interested in the position. So if they're interested in the position, that's great. They're going to have to type out something, even, you know, I, I looked at your company. I looked at you guys on, on the, on the NASDAQ stock exchange, whatever. I really like what you, the kind of services that you offer. I think there's something special about your firm, like your culture. Uh, there's a lot of things about your firm that drive me or um, uh, are attracting me to, to, to go and work with you. So with that being said, I think that's a good uh, field to have. So um, let's, uh, I forgot to make that field required, I think, didn't I? Let me see here. So this, this one is, um, let me just edit it real quick. It's required. Okay. So that takes care of our application. Let's just publish the the uh, application table real quick. That way we're done with that. And then we'll also just real quick put the form together so that later on we can deal with it. It's a nice quick way of, of getting it ready and uh, knowing that we have something that we like. We're not gonna have the owner on here. Hide that. Okay, so we got these three required fields. Once they create this record, uh, this one actually, you know what? It looks like it's required out of the gate. So I hope that, um, I think I might have to not have this be required. Um, we can test that out here in a second. <clears throat> Mm 
this is confirmed that we're not building something that's not actually possible. But I really do want a very simple application process for our, uh, in this day and age right now, people are not filling out applications um, that are extremely long with all your employment history when people are just not hiring as much. So um, they just want to make sure that they can get their, their fish net out there and, and then go from there. And so with that understanding, I want to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Yeah, I'm going to make this business recommended the resume. And if I'm interested as a hiring manager and they didn't provide a resume for some reason, although I'll enforce it later on somewhere, then, you know, I could always ask for their resume, right? If they have some, something interesting to say, or um, I look at their LinkedIn profile, something like that. In fact, that's actually a really good, good uh, field to create real quick. Let's create another form field. As soon as it lets us, right? Form field. And so we'll create um, LinkedIn profile URL. This is going to be text, but it's going to be a URL. And then it's also awesome for their email. How do we get in contact with them? Well, it's not awesome for their phone number right now. Uh, email is perfectly fine. But yeah, their email address is kind of critical. There's actually an email address type in our out of the box functions here. So email address. So we got email address, we've got LinkedIn profile URL. Email address is definitely going to be required. So what we need from them is their email address and why they're interested in the position. The rest of it will be business recommended and auto-generated like the application name. And this is gonna be posted on some sort of portal website that integrates with our Power Automate jobs and all of that. Okay, so I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and go back over here and look at the jobs table. So what we're doing is we're just kind of cleaning up our application um, or our, our model driven application, not to you know, get it confused with the application that we were just working with. And let's make sure that understanding that our recruitment form is actually kind of like the governing entity really of everything. So what I want to do is on this main page, I want to have forms, I'll, I want to have stuff um, I want to have subgrids that are all over the place. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do that. I want to have subgrid for related records, of course. Actually, no, it won't be. Yeah, no, no, it should be related records. Forgive me. So I want subgrids for the related candidates. I want to subgrid and we'll call this obviously active candidates. There's our friendly name. We'll add another subgrid for what else? Interviews. And then those will all roll up into what is going to be data that we're going to be collecting about our uh, candidates. Okay. So as we look at this, now we have our active candidates, interviews, and then we can pull this data, like metrics about this, into 
a data, uh, actually we can roll it up, right? We can look at the job and see how many applicants we have, things like that. Um, so I'll add some fields so that we can look at how many applicants a job has, um, how many have been, you know, rejected, how many have been, how many are actually um, like kind of star applicants and we can have some logic on that. I think that'd be really cool. And, uh, and yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll get into that pretty soon. So I'm excited. Thank you for um, joining me for this adventure. And now I think we have an application that's a little bit more robust and uh, ready to move into the, to the next stage. So in our next video, we're going to use Power Automate uh, to get our hands dirty with Power Automate. And, uh, and then we're going to start using other technologies. We're just going to keep going across different technologies that help us build our application and get it to the point where we can actually um, go to UAT and um, eventually go live with this sort of application. So I have a lot of work ahead of us and, uh, and you're going to join me if you want. And I think you'll learn a lot as you go through this because I'm literally doing this as I go impromptu so it's a lot of work but it's very enjoyable for me i really enjoy this stuff what i do thank you for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day or evening wherever you are